So what this is, is a bunch of cell phones, which is what we're going to be making today. And as you can see, I have GIMP open or GNU, whatever you want to call it. And I shooped all of these myself, see on the screen. As you can see in GIMP, I just made them on a 15 by 15 inch square. So in paint, I'm going to be printing them on one sheet of paper. Okay, so this is how they printed, and as you might be able to tell from that one, my printer is currently running out of black ink, so you can see all the magical little colors that came out. I just tried printing out that page again, and it came out with even less color than last time. So, you know, if you're smarter than me, and if you actually, like, plan ahead of time and get ink for your printer, good on you. And, uh, you know, I, I just have to go and learn my lesson. So what I'm going to be doing is taking some lamination paper and taking my little cell phones and putting them in the laminating paper. Be careful not to get any dirt or hair in the front of the laminating paper because then that will be permanently stuck on the front of your beautiful little cell phones. So the way my laminator works is you take the laminator and once that little red hot light bulb turns red and you make sure you feed it where the paper is sealed, right? You feed it in from that end. And so the next step is cutting it out. So if you do not have a laminator, what I would recommend is cut out all of the little cell phones first and then use clear tape and tape both sides of the little front and the back of the paper. So you would want to tape both sides so that way when you glue them to foam, they will not wrinkle. To give you an example of what I'm talking about, those are the old ones I made. And the backs of these came out much plainer than the cool backs of these. And the fronts, I just had them black. And these, I changed the color of and all of that stuff. I spent a lot of time making these, which is why it's so frustrating that I ran out of ink. But what are you going to do? So as you can see by my old little phones, what it is is that is a little piece of foam that we'll be gluing the phones on to. So I'm going to cut all these out. So if you haven't already guessed, these little app parts are the front of the cell phones and then these more decorative parts are the back of the cell phones. And so what you want to do is you want to pick your favorite. Um, I think I like this one slightly better. And you want to carefully cut it in half. And you want to cut them out. So as you can tell, they are very small, but they're meant for small dolls. So you might want to use an X-Acto knife. Personally, I'm totally comfortable with using scissors. So there we have the little front and little back cut out so you can see more easily that it fits like so. And if you want really, really paper thin phones, go ahead and just glue these two together. But I am going to make them a little bit thicker by putting foam in between them. You could probably also use felt or some kind of fabric if you really wanted to, but I will be using foam. So what I like to do is just take one of my little foam pieces and put it on my piece of foam in whatever color you want to use. And then I just like to trace it. And then once you have a nice little outline going on, you want to cut it out. So then once you have your little baby piece of foam, you want to see how your little cell phone pieces fit on your little baby foam. And that's how they go on. And what glue I'm going to recommend for these little guys actually is going to just be your regular all-purpose Elmer's glue or white glue, whatever you want to call it. Because if you use hot glue, you may warp the plastic or tape or whatever you're using. 
on your little cell phones. So stick to white glue because the extra few hours of drying are going to be worth it for a nice, clear, non-warped little phone. And as you can probably tell, you really don't need that much glue. Just make sure that if you're using a brush to wash off the brush before the glue dries and ruins your brush for you. And this is why if you're using tape, you want to tape the back too because you don't want the ink to bleed. And make sure that the little power circle is on the bottom and that the little camera, I don't know if everyone will be able to see that, but that little white dot, that's the camera that I put in. That goes on the top, and the little power button goes on the bottom, or at least that's what I intended. You can do whatever you want. And then you just let that dry. So next to the original cell phones that I originally made, they are very slightly smaller. You can barely tell, but you can print these out to be whatever size you want them to be. Here are some examples of phones next to my Monster High. This is Rusalka, a.k.a. Serena Von Boo. Uh, except this is my repaint of her. I hope you like it. I don't know if I've ever shown her on camera. I don't know. But here are the phones next to her. So there is some size reference for you. Oh, just in case you're like, but debris, I don't have a Monster High. They're ugly like your face. There is a ruler, and as you can see, the little phone is about an inch long, which is actually pretty impressive because I didn't plan that at all. Go me. But that gives you some idea on the size you want to consider. So if you wanted to do one for an American girl, you'd probably have to blow it up a little bit and you'd probably want to go more like two inches. I don't know how that's going to come out. I can't guarantee anything, but that's what I got right now. So I'm not going to sit here and make all these on camera. It's going to be the same process that I already did with this one, just times like a billion so make sure you check out this link and give me a like. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. That's all for now. Bye.